Hello loves and happy holidays. Today I'm coming to you guys with a holiday glam look. I decided to do one, I don't remember if I did one last year, but I was really feeling one of my MAC pigments and that is the MAC Pigments in Melon and I decided to do a holiday look with it. It is very yellowy orange which I thought was a nice mix of a goldish color rather than using straight up gold. But yeah, this is pretty much the look that I achieved with it and it has been a while since I've worn a red lip and of course Christmas time is just the perfect time to wear a nice red lip. So in this tutorial I end up using a few new products that I have found at the drugstore recently which I am loving. So I hope you guys enjoy that. So if you want to see how I got this look just keep on watching. Okay, I've moisturized my lips, done my brows and moisturized slashed primed with my Embrolis Lock Cream Concentrate. So I'm just going to pull my hair back and just get started. I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyes using my Painterly Paint Pot. So I'm going to go ahead and do this trick that I've been doing forever and a day and that's by adding some tape to the back of my hands and what I do is I take the tape and remove it off the back of my hand just so that it's not so sticky. Um, it does irritate the eyes when you put it directly on and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it at an angle so that when I do my eyeliner and buff out my transition that it looks nice and clean. So I'm going to take my Makeup Geek Beaches and Cream and I'm going to take it on an E35 brush, tap off the excess and just kind of use this as my transition. No, kind of. I'm using it as my transition color. Now I'm going to go in with the same brush and the shade Coco Bear from Makeup Geek as well and just tap some on the brush and just focus on the outer V. And as you can see, that instantly warms it up. And I will be bringing that in a bit to the crease. Go ahead and build up a little bit of that color. We will be adding black to this look, but I feel like this would help with the transition with any dark colors. Okay, and I'm going to go in with an E40 brush and just blend. So I'm going to go in with the Rimmel Scandalize eyeshadow crayon, and this one is in... Uh, bulletproof beige and this is a water formula a water formula this is waterproof I'm just gonna go ahead and place this on the lid not on the entire lid I'm gonna stop right where Coco Bear starts just kind of build it right here and then blend it with my finger I'm gonna go ahead and take my Wayne Goss 04 brush and I'm going to use my Lorac uh, Pro 2 palettes, but I'm going to just be taking the black. Um, it's one of the more pigmented blacks that I have. And just place this black on the outer V. This brush does a beautiful job at blowing it out and blending it. And as you can see, I'm just kind of staying on the outer V. I can always build it up. But it goes a long way. I'm blending this to where I took uh, Coco Bear. I go back in with my E35 brush that still has some Coco Bear on it. Kind of go over that. So now that that's pretty much done for now, I'm going to go in with my MAC Pigment in Melon. And I'm going to, of course, use my e.l.f. concealer brush and my MAC Fix Plus. Go ahead, wet the brush and grab some of that pigment and place that on my lid. So I'm going to go in with a small precision brush and go back in with the black. I'm going to take that to the crease. I'm going to go back in with that E40 and just blow out that crease. It's all about blending, sweetie. It's all about blending. I'm going to go in with Wet n Wild Brulee Eyeshadow and just taking a Coastal Sense brush and I'm going to highlight under the brow. I'm going to take Makeup Geek's Shimmer Shimmer and just take a small brush, precision brush, and just place that on the inner 
corner of the eye to add a highlight that's not so yellow. I'm going to be using the Inglot Gel Liner in number 77 and just using my e.l.f. eyeliner brush, which is a pointed tip brush. Go ahead and start in the center of the eye. And of course, you guys know I'm going to do a wing. So if you're having a tough time learning how to do a wing eyeliner, the reason why I'm doing this tape trick is to show you ladies how to do this uh, perfect wing eyeliner. Now I'm really loving this Ingla eyeliner. It just works. And as you can see, I'm not going to take it all the way on the inner corner of the eye, but I am going to go under the lash line and tight line with it. So I'm going to remove the tape and as you can see there it leaves a nice sharp line. I'm going to go ahead and start off with my foundation routine and I'm going to be using my Kat Von D Locket foundation. I'm going to go ahead and use the Sonia Kashuk Radiant Boost Restorative Facial Oil. I'm going to take one drop of the oil. Pretty much just blend it with your finger and this oil doesn't interrupt the foundation or anything like that. It doesn't clump it up or anything like that as you can see there. Go ahead. And apply it pretty much all over my face. I'm gonna take my Real Techniques complexion sponge and just apply this on my face. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this Maybelline Master Conceal by Face Studio Camouflaging Concealer. Go under the eyes with it. Go ahead and conceal and highlight all at one. I'm gonna go ahead and take my Maybelline Age Rewind in brightener and just dot right there. I'm going to go ahead and set everything mixing in my banana powder from Anastasia of Beverly Hills and Emphasize from the MAC Pro Collection and just sweep that under the eyes. Going with my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and this one is in 005 Silky Babe so it's a lot lighter. I'm just going to pat this in using my Sigma Tapered Face Brush, my F25. To contour and bronze with my Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. Oh my god, this stuff is delicious. It smells delicious. And I'm going to take my NARS Eater Brush and just work that sucker on them cheekbones. For my cheeks, I'm going to be taking my Hourglass Dim Infusion Ambient Lighting Blush. Eh. And this is the color right here. It is gorgeous. Just take that and sweep it, girl. My elf eye crease brush it is a very small brush. And take some of the black and go underneath the lash line. And bring that at least halfway into the lid you could bring it all the way like me I think I want to bring it all the way because I like that smoked out look I'm going with a mix of cocoa bear and beaches and cream and go right under that black I'm gonna be using the lash sensational by Maybelline it is one of their newer mascaras and I'm just kind of using it up right now but it, it works So I've applied my lashes and I'm using the Salon Perfect Demi Wispies. Voila. Now I'm using the Jordana Easy Liner and I'm using a very dark color and this one is in Cabernet. I'm going to be using the Rimmel London Show Off Lip Velvets and these are mattes and I am in love with these. The color is Burning Lava.
So this is it for my holiday glam look. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.